to uh, my webpage and my online lessons. And today's lesson we're going to talk about is basically um, what most beginner guitar players do. And the biggest mistake that they make, usually the very first one, is positioning. And positioning on your guitar is, or any instrument for that matter, is extremely important. So you want to be able to maintain a good position. Because without that, it's going to make it actually more difficult for you to play. So I'm going to show you a couple of pointers really, really quick. And um, I'll hopefully just do a couple more uh, lessons about the top five things that um, beginner guitar players do that possibly set them back uh, to the point where you know, maybe they're not progressing very well or as far as they want to or they just quit because it's too hard. So with doing positioning, I tell all my students to give them some pointers really. It's all about comfort and it's all about relaxing your back and it's all about maintaining good hand position. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find a decent strap for your guitar. And the reason why I say that is because so many guitar players that come to me for lessons, they sit down, the first thing they do is they grab their guitar and they're just like, they sit there and they just do this, and the neck's just kind of going wherever, and the whole body's sliding out like this on them, and, you know, they're just doing their thing and just kind of strumming, and they're really just kind of being lazy, really. So you want to find a good strap. That's going to help you. That's going to keep the guitar up where it needs to be regardless of how you're sitting, and then it will not slide out from wherever you're at. You don't want the guitar to start sliding this way when you're playing. Um, so you want to be able to maintain a good position while you're sitting just as, like you're, as, as if you were standing. So we're going to do that by a strap. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to try to center the guitar in, in a place where it's comfortable for you. Okay. Refer to this as being bad position. Okay. This kind of position you don't want. You want the guitar close to your body, even if you're sitting like this, so that your hand is able to move freely back and forth. The position that works the best for me, because I came from a classical guitar background, is having the guitar kind of between my legs and then having the neck at this angle so that my hand can go freely back and forth like this. This works best for me. It may not work for some of you people out there. Um, who have different, you know, different hands and wrists, and you know, everybody's different. But this generally works for most people. So even if you were to do it this way, keep your guitar like this, this angle. You want your hand to have free movement. You don't want it to be on your leg, so that you know you're you're doing one of these. So where you're just kind of cutting your wrist off and and cutting your 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 range out. Basically, you want to be able to have your elbow to move freely. Okay, you don't want it, you, you, know, you want it close to your body, but you want to be able to have this, be able to extend your arm out. If you're doing this, you know, and you're, you're laying your hand down on your leg, you're basically cutting off a lot of range. It would make it harder to play up here, it'll make it, it'll make it hard to do stretches in that. So, again, keep it centered. The strap will help keep it at an angle too, as well, and it will help keep it from moving away from you. The other thing you want to do is when it comes to hand positioning, when you put your hand down on the fretboard, you want to try to do what we call keeping your hand square. Square to the neck. We don't want it to drift off anywhere. So you want to keep it square, and that comes from your thumb. Now your thumb positioning is going to be something that is different for everybody, because everybody has a different joint in their thumb, and everybody has a different anatomy of their hand. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep our thumb behind our second finger. Okay. So that when we place it on the fretboard, it, it remains like this. This this would be square. This would not be square. Okay, if you're doing this, trying to move your hand like this, this is not square. Other players have done it because they're they're using their thumb for doing chord stuff, and that's fine. Um, you can do that every once in a while, like this, you know. And then you're trying to make make your uh, make your stretches, so you have to tilt your wrist differently. Okay, for that style of playing, that's fine. If you're doing a lot of single note playing. Your thumb being up, being up here is probably not a good idea. So again, we want to keep it square. Thumb behind the middle finger so that when we do any single note stuff, whatever that is, we want to be able to maintain that, that positioning. It'll help keep everything. We'll kind of work from this type of pivot right here. So um, this would be the first thing to look at 
um, when you're just picking up an instrument, obviously is your positioning. It's very, very, very important. So, um, again, you want to keep your hand square to the fretboard, thumb behind the middle finger, okay? You want to buy yourself a good strap, okay? Keep the guitar centered and close to your body, okay? Try not to let it drift out and away in an angle. You don't want to play like that. It's going to make you do a lot of bad things. Um, and it can even give you tendonitis if you're not careful. So, um, strap, thumb, behind middle finger, guitar centered. You want the neck in this kind of this type of angle here so that you have free range on your instrument. Um, try those three things and see how far it takes you. Uh, and hopefully that will make things a lot easier for you. So, um, thanks again for watching and uh, stick around for more lessons. Uh, I hope you find them enjoyable. Thank you.